Hi, and welcome back to the mini farm. Today, I'm gonna show you how to make Taco Bell's chili cheese burritos. These things are such a yummy comfort food and are perfect for Taco Tuesdays. I'll also show you how to properly fold them in the end so you don't get that big bite of bread in your first bite. So if you're ready for another easy copycat recipe, then just keep watching. But first, please give this video a thumbs up if you like videos like this, and click the red subscribe button below if you haven't done so already. If it's already gray, thank you so much for being a subscriber. I love having you here and really enjoy our chats in the comment section. Without further ado, here's our Taco Bell Chili Cheese Burrito copycat recipe. For this recipe, you're going to need some salt, chili powder and cayenne powder, some vinegar, some ground beef, but I'm using ground turkey today, cheese, minced dry onion, refried beans, some tomato paste, some cornstarch, water. I actually pulled some of the water out to mix with the cornstarch later, so totally need two and a half cups. I pulled a quarter cup of it out. You're also gonna need some tortillas. Okay, to get this started, I'm going to brown the meat in a skillet. So just kind of break it up. This is coming up to heat slowly. Let me bring it up actually a little bit faster. There it goes. Break it up. While that's going, in saucepan number two, I'm gonna turn my heat on to medium high onto this saucepan. And I'm going to add in my tomato paste. Clean out can with a little bit of water. Go ahead and add in the rest of the water and then I'm going to whisk this until it's a smooth mixture. Okay, well that's heating up. Let's check in on our turkey. It is starting to heat up. I'm going to switch to this little tool that I use. It breaks up the meat really nicely. Back to the tomato sauce. Now that is completely incorporated. It's been, it's actually been heating all the way through too. We're gonna add in the cayenne pepper. Okay, and then I'm gonna add in the chili powder. The salt. in the vinegar and add in your onion and then you also want to mix Let's see if I can back you up just a little bit you want to mix your cornstarch so this is just cold water Just mix it until it's completely smooth in there. It doesn't take much in a cold water. You don't ever want to mix this in hot water because it'll clump up on you. As you can see, it's already nice and cloudy in there. And you can add that into your mixture. Add that in there and then just whisk it in. Okay, let's check in on our Meat mixture. And that's the other mixture is going now at medium heat. We're almost cooked all the way through. I am going to add a little bit of salt here. If you were doing beef here or a fattier meat, you would drain the meat at this point. 
but this is fairly lean, so I don't need to drain anything. There's actually nothing to drain. Turn that down to about medium low and open up your refried beans. You want to add in about half of your refried beans to this mixture. These are black refried beans, so you obviously can just use regular refried beans. Kind of break it up just a little bit into the meat. And then you want to add in one and a half cups to your meat. and stir that in really, really good and mix everything in. So you want the beans to kind of incorporate in there. Okay, I'm gonna add a little bit more of the tomato sauce. So we'll say two and a half cups of this. So you really kind of want this to be runny and you really want it to be incorporated all together. But you just want to save a little bit for the end because sometimes you want to add a little bit to it. Okay, so that should do it. Let's stir that in really good. You want to make sure that the refried beans are completely dissolved before you add in your cheese. Add in. About half of our cheese. I think I'm gonna go ahead and turn it completely off. Turn the heat completely off now that it's bubbling. And just stir this in slowly. You never want the cheese to simmer in there because it'll turn kind of grainy. Just want it to be a nice creamy mixture. Oh my gosh, this looks so good. Time to assemble. To assemble these, you put your tortilla on the plate, then you scoop the meat, cheese, bean mixture we just made. You put about a quarter cup of the mixture in there. You don't want too much in there because it'll go all over the place and make a huge mess. Then on top of that, you would add your tomato sauce, but this is a little spicy. So this is where you control the heat. So if, you're, if you like your burritos a little spicier, add more. If you don't like them that spicy, then don't add as much or enough at all. Like for the kids, I don't actually add anything at all in there. And then top it off with more cheese. The way that they wrap it is that they fold both ends and then they roll them. I don't like it that way because I don't like extra bread in my beginning there. So I just like to fold one end in and I roll it just like that. And that is your chili cheese burrito. Yum, 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 yum. And then I just keep going like this until I'm out of tortillas. These actually freeze really well too. So if you wanna make a huge batch of this and then freeze some of them, they come out really, really well. I individually wrap them. And when I'm ready to heat them up, I just roll them up in a paper towel and put them in the microwave. Or you can put them in the oven on about 325 degrees and let them kind of warm up all the way through and it gets nice and crispy on the outside. We have young kids, we're a family of five, and this batch made us two full meals. So the second batch actually went in the freezer and I ate three big ones by myself. So it's definitely a lot of food. Let me know in the comments below if you'd like to see a full freezer meal video. I can put a big one together with like three or four different meals that you can kind of stash in there for when you don't feel like cooking or for a rainy day for whatever reason. So thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I really enjoyed making this one. This was one of my favorites. So I hope you enjoy it too. It's super easy and very quick and super cheap. So it hits all the right check marks there. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And if you haven't done so already, you can click on my face to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.